I'm Ari Rabinovic from Venus. It's very clear that you played a very big role. The council member was very elected for a speaker. Council member Melissa Margarito becoming the next speaker. What are you going to do? What will be her major goals that will impact the city in general and the Jewish community in particular? First, let me say that I'm thrilled that Melissa Marco Garrido is going to be our next speaker, and I am very proud to have worked hard to help make it happen. Uh, I co-chair the Progressive Caucus with Melissa and have for the past four years. We have worked together to advance the goals of so many New Yorkers, affordable housing, child care, uh, the whole range of issues that just matter in our neighborhoods to everyone, and it doesn't matter what community. And I know in the Jewish community, those issues of child care seats, the issues of affordable housing, the issues of being able to find a good job, of safe streets, those are the issues that matter to people in Borough Park that I'm pleased to represent and all the communities of the city. Melissa's going to be a champion on them, and I'm very proud to have played a strong role to be a close supporter of hers. Uh, the group, uh, the progressive group of council members that we brought together are the, the core of her team. Uh, and we're looking forward to working with all the rest of our colleagues very closely to make the city a better place. And that includes all the Jewish communities and it includes all the non-Jewish communities. Uh, and I'm really excited to be a part of it. Affordable housing is a major issue in the city. You have housing background that you fight it for that. What can the city council do to create more additional and affordable yeah, housing so, so. communities like Williamsburg, Borough Park, Flatbush, and all over the city, as you say, all communities? One big idea we have is something called inclusionary zoning that says any time a new market rate building goes up, it's got to include some affordable housing. Uh, we're often giving people density bonuses or tax breaks or the right to build. What we're going to do in the next city council under uh, Melissa Mark Marito's uh, speakership, and, and I hope with my good, strong support and participation, uh, we're going to get inclusionary zoning in place so there's more affordable housing built uh, and people in every neighborhood in the city have a better chance to find a place they can afford to live. The Blooming administration slashed the priority seven vouchers. I know that you have fighted for that. I remember in, the in December 2010 you have held a rally about that. What will be the next plans about that? It will be restored, increase? Well, here's the best news and the thing I'm really excited for. As people know, the number one priority of a mayor like Bill de Blasio and a very high priority for the New York City Council is expanding universal pre-K. Now, I think some people think of that as only in the public schools, but universal pre-K takes place in all kinds of community-based organizations and daycare centers and schools. And I know a lot of places that have UPK in Borough Park, in Williamsburg. Uh, and I believe the, the big opportunity to achieve more affordable education for religious families, every family in New York, is to work with the mayor-elect to achieve that expansion so all four-year-olds will grab a great UPK seat, whether that's in a public school, whether that's in a private school, whether that's in a daycare center. So I hope people will join me because that's going to be tens of thousands of child care seats in our communities. You represent the same district that mayor like Bill de Bellavio represented the city council before he got elected. Four years ago before you became public advocate. Yes. And you endorsed him for mayor as well. Yes, I did. I assume you have a good relationship with him. What will be the constitution you will have from that? So I'm, uh, you know, as a proud uh, and early endorser of, of Bill de Blasio. Uh, we, I do indeed have the honor of representing his district. We've been friends a long time. We have a lot of friends in common in the Jewish community, actually. Yerucham Silber, uh, Ezra Friedlander, Yitzhak Fleischer, uh, Barish Freilich, all people that have been very close to Bill, very close to me. Um, I, uh, I am very pleased to be an early endorser of the mayor-elect, to be working closely with him and his team as we're moving forward, and I think on so many of the issues that matter, on that universal pre-K, on affordable housing, uh, on keeping our communities safe, on all those issues, I'm looking very forward to being a good, close, strong partner, both with our new speaker, Melissa Marco Garrido, and our new mayor, Bill de Blasio. Councilmember Melissa was the first who supported mayor like Bill de Blasio. She got there before I did. Yeah, so I guess you followed her, so you, you do have to have a great relationship as well. Uh, again, I, you know, uh, uh, Melissa and I have a very, very close working relationship. We work together as co-chairs of the Progressive Caucus. Uh, we, we share a lot of goals for the next council. We're good friends and we are both strong and enthusiastic supporters of the mayor-elect. Um, sometimes the legislature has to have oversight of the administration and we'll do that when necessary, but there are so many things that we're going to work 
closely together in common to do, and I'm looking very forward to being a strong part of both teams uh, to move our whole city forward. It's extremely difficult for the middle class and poor people to make ants meet. What can be done to help them? Well, I think we've talked about quite a few things already. If you can, uh, if four-year-olds are having their education paid for as part of universal pre-K, that's money parents don't have to spend. If you can make more affordable housing available in the city, that's money people don't have to spend. If we can stop so much ticketing of store owners and small business owners, that's money people don't have to spend. And there are more things like that that we can do to make life easier and better for so many families in our city. Fine. Thank you. Thank you.